All right, let's very quickly go through the server setup here. So if you've done through Vortex, and I'm assuming other mod managers as well, will be a similar step. But for Vortex, you can just go straight to your mod section, go open, game folder, and then in here, you're going to want to go to data, Skyrim Together Reborn, and then down the bottom here, you'll see Skyrim Together Server.exe. So you're going to click on this. And this will normally give you a pop-up, which will ask you to allow it. And then also, hopefully, will give you a firewall uh, option as well. For the firewall settings, you want to go private and public and allow access to both. If this doesn't show up, what we're going to need to do is search for firewall. You're going to want to open up those settings. On the left-hand side here, you're going to want to go advanced. And then in here, you're going to want to check for, I think it's multiplayer game. Yeah, multiplayer server for uh, Bethesda games. If this isn't here, you're going to need to go to new rule on the right hand side. Program. And then you're going to want to take the file path of this. So just for simplicity, I'm going to copy that. And we're going to open this. Okay, it's already there. And then you're going to select Skyrim Together Server.exe. Open that. Go next. Go next and then turn off domain. Go next and then give it a name such as multiplayer server for Bethesda games and then click finished. So after we have that set up, you can launch into your game, leaving the server running. So leave this console open. So now that you're in the game, you want to go connect. And just for this example, just to make sure that's working, 127.0.0.1. And this is your local IP. I don't know if there's a password on it because I reset the file. This has allowed us to successfully connect to the server. So if this works, the next step is to close out of all of this again. Once you've closed out of all of this, you will need to look into port forwarding if you want to run it off a port. And another thing that I can recommend is if you're going to port forward, I would recommend getting no IP uh, and their duck program. And then you can set a custom host address. Such as this one. This allows it to update the host address uh, based off your IP. And like, even if your IP keeps changing, it will keep the host address up to date. So then random people can just use the host address and not have direct access to your actual IP. So as there are so many different routers, the way to port forward your router is very different. So I will link this website here where it has a list of quite a few different routers. So for example, let's say you just have an Acer router, right? Let's keep it simple. So you'd go here, close the ad. Then within here, you'd select what type of Acer router you have. Most of their G GUIs are the exact same. So as long as your actual interface looks it's very similar to this, you should be able to figure it out. If you can't find it through here, just look up a YouTube video for it. Or if you still are having problems, feel free to contact me. My router setup, on the other hand, was through a mobile app, which was very simple. The other issue I ran into was I needed to call up my ISP as they had me set to what's called a CGNAT which doesn't allow me to have a dynamic IP, which made it impossible for me to set up a server. So I called them and they were able to freely change that. If you want, you can also apply for a static IP, which would then never change, but that costs extra per month. So that's something that you can look into as well. If this method is also no good for you, you can use software like Hamachi, um, which allow you to basically set up a separate network that runs through Hamachi's servers. You can also use something like Zero Tier. The good thing with Zero Tier is that it allows people to connect without port forwarding. This whole documentation here explaining how to set it up, I will leave linked in the description of this video. I'm not too sure. I haven't gone through these steps myself and there might be other videos similar to it online already. This is also very similar to Hamachi if you're already familiar with using, using that or if you want to find a tutorial or that. Now the next thing we're going to go through is the server settings. So let's come back over here, open up your game folder again, data, and then Skyrim Reborn. Within the config file here, 
you'll find ST server or any. This is all of the server settings that you can change in here. So you can set a password. Let's just make it one, two, three, four. So anyone connecting with your IP address will still need to enter this password. You can also change the port if you're experienced with ports and want to change it to a different port number or a port that you already have open. You can give the server a different name and you can change things like PVP settings and everything in here or difficulty ratings. You can also enable a mod check, which allows the server to check everyone's mods. So if we set this to true, what we're going to want to do is we're going to create a mod load list that it will check. So the load order text in here, you will need to create a data file and you're going to need to put a load order text in here. To generate one based off of the mods that you already have, you can come into here, into mods, open, and then go game application data folder. And in here, you'll already have a load order, which is your load order from Vortex and all the mods that you have installed. So if we simply take this and we put a copy of this into a data, data file in Skyrim Reborn, this will make sure that everyone joining and connecting to the server has the exact same mod list that you have, and this will help reduce any bugs or other issues that may occur. I hope this video was enough to get you going with a Skyrim Together Reborn server. If not, feel free to leave a comment below and I can look into creating a new video with more detail or redirect you to other videos that cover the port forwarding side of things if you need extra help with that. Thanks for watching.